Welcome to this week's edition of The Passion of the Digital Artist. And here he is, your favorite passionate digital artist and mine, Jeff Mueller. Hello, Xavier. Hey, Jeff. How are you? I'm great. How are you doing? What? Another week has passed. Another week already. It, the, the magnitude of what's happening is starting to sink in. And I've kind of settled down. And I, I found that it's really strange. You, you, you keep doing this and you keep, you keep going forward, moving, playing out all your options, like we always talk about. And then all of a sudden, it seems like out of nowhere, everything hits at once. And to have three shows, July 19th, July 20th, and July 25th, in Cleveland, Canton, and New York City, Long Island, it's just, it, it kind of set in on me. And I've, I've gotten organized, and I'm really getting all the stuff done. First of all, preparation for a show. It's, there's a lot of preparation that artist has to do. And from the start to finish, this process of when you go out and get a painting. So my process is, I decide I want to. I decide I want to paint a, paint a picture, and I decide where I want to paint it from, and then I take my my camera out, and I find the picture, have it present itself to me, find that painting. So in my head, I'm finding the painting. Once I see it, I take multiple pictures of it for reference, bring it back, put it in the computer, pick the best reference that I can find tweak it, adjust it, get the colors about how I want it inside the computer, and then I paint it. Using the photo as reference and a guide for color and composition, I paint it inside the computer. I then, using my skills, again, as far as working in the digital field and having everything that I ever worked on in the commercial art field from the computer printed, I understand the colors, the color uh, profiles that are out there. I understand what colors don't print well, what colors do print well. And it, when it came to canvas, at first I had my basic knowledge, but after 25 canvases now, I pretty have a, have a really good idea what colors and their strengths. And when I'm painting the picture, I paint towards those strengths. And if, it's, if they're not there, I kind of leave it open so that I can add it in through the painting once I once the picture is painted. Once I have the picture, it's put it's printed out onto the canvas. And, and in this case, the Cleveland show, the Tall Wall show up in Cleveland, I picked a study of Bright Lights Big City. Where it was, I went in and I got a close up. I zoomed in on the on the on the actual picture. And then I repainted it in the computer, printed it back out to the colors that I wanted. And then once it's out, this particular painting is about, now I'd say 60 to 70% covered in acrylic paint. So this is my first push where there's probably more acrylic than digital paint on it. And the results worked out great. I was really happy. It took me a while. I was so in the zone on this that I forgot to wear my hat. I was painting outside. I ended up burning my, the top of my head. So once that's finished, today itself, I spent, I signed it, I lacquered it. Then once I lacquered, lacquered it, I decided to rename it Big City, Big Lights. Then... I registered it, got the certificate of authenticity with the holograph, which has its particular it's number, artregistry.com, where you can see uh, Big Big Lights, Big Cities right there that was uploaded. The number was assigned, so I've got the certificate. Then what happens from the certificate is this holograph goes on the back, the, the, the twin holograph that's on the certificate is on the back of the painting. So I've registered this 
at my art registry. The person who buys it gets a certificate of authenticity and it's on the back of the painting. So in a hundred years, if someone's wondering who Jeff Mueller is and what other art works he's done, they can look at the number here, type it in, going to myartregistry.com and all of my paintings that have these numbers and that are associated with it, they'll be able to see my artwork. So it really kind of legitimizes what I'm doing by registering it and documenting it. So the process of what I do isn't just the painting. It's using all the skills that I've come up with. So that brings me to the next thing. T-shirts, yay! Check it out. Uh, at my gallery, Vanessa Booth designs T-shirts and sells them. I asked her to design one for Computer Art Man. This is what she came up with. I'm very proud of it. That is a mouse and the mouse wire is a paintbrush. Becomes a paintbrush. Yes. Pretty awesome. So they're available. Any color, any size. One is $15 plus shipping and two for $25. So if anybody's interested in getting a computer art man, just contact me either on Facebook or on YouTube. Leave a message. Get leave your information and we'll I'll work it out so that you can get one of these great t-shirts. I guess that's pretty much, uh, I'd like to say a shout out back to uh, Lori Chandler, L.A. Chandler, uh, for her book, uh, Fight to Keep Creativity Alive. I'm about halfway through. It's an amazing book. It's a good read. Everybody should go download it. It's on iTunes and Amazon. Great book. I'll still keep up the link that I had from last week, but everybody, definitely a good read for artists and, un and people who aren't artists as well because it just is it, it's a challenge and inspiration to you know it's almost like it's not a life-changing thing but it's something that you can add to your life that will definitely make a difference and it's well worth 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 reading everybody's got to read it so that's it for this week Xavier just wanted to add a thank you to Jeff and Rachel for a wonderful dinner tonight ribs and all the trimmings and it was just another really nice time. We got together last week here on the 4th at my house and then once again here and it's been a great way to celebrate summer. A food fest. It has been a food fest. Good thing it's summertime because I'm just maintaining this weight. Yeah, I know. I was running the monument steps again yesterday. It's like I, you know, get myself uh, exercise down and then I put it back. It's a vicious circle. Yes, exactly. <laughs> we'll All right, see we'll you see you next week, week. folks. No, we won't. No, we won't. You're going to be on vacation, Xavier. In Viva in Las Vegas. Wonderful Las Vegas. Hopefully you'll come back a rich man. There you go. Well, let's say if I become a rich man, I just won't be back. <laughs> if I come back, you'll know that I had my usual luck. But well, yeah, we'll I suppose <laughs> I'm be back. We'll we'll see you. We'll see you in a couple weeks, folks. Yep. Bye bye.